<laughs> I'm not sure what distinction he's drawing. If it's venomous, that means it has venom in it, and what is venom? Venom is something that can poison you. This is bad venom. You don't want to deal with one of these guys. So a drop is a drop of anything, typically a drop of water, a drop of rain. On Roche I'm talking about, okay? So if it's, a, it's, if, it's, if it's from a tear, which Klingons don't do, but they know other people do it, okay, you could say that's an, uh, uh, an eye drop. People would understand that. It doesn't mean that your eye dropped out. Min on Rosh, Min on Rosh is, a, is an eye drop, is a, is a tear drop. But not a Klingon tear drop, because there's no such thing. Unless you're a half Klingon, then oh boy, does it get complicated. No, it's a Klingon specific animal that's like a spider. It's not a spider because it doesn't necessarily have eight legs. Yeah, so, it's, so it's the closest thing to an earth spider. Well, you could say since it's a Klingon word, not a, not a, it's a Klingon animal, mm -hmm. not an earth animal. But if you had to use, have to describe the earth animal, it's, it looks like a small big spider. Mm -hmm. So you could, you could just add home to the end. That's not its official name. You're just, it's, you're, you're, it's, it's, it's a small one of those, but it's the Earth style. It's like the Hubble telescope, where there's a new telescope going up that's similar. Okay, but, but it's, not, it's not one of these. It, well, it's a whole different kind of way it works and everything. So it's, it's, not, it's not sending one of these out into space. It's a different operation with mirrors, and however Hubble and, and those things work. So the one you're holding in your hands is called Hov Tut. Right. Is that's the sort of the slang name? But that's the slang yeah. name. That's that's the but and the everyday name. But if I say Chuk Al which is it doesn't show any tech, technological thing behind it, the small Hov Tut could also be a Chuk Al Yeah, but it's not. Shach means to expand, to be elaborated, to be made more complex, something like that. Uh, it could be applied to, to a, a thought, it could be applied to writing, it could be applied to a nation or people. Like she says, what does she, what does she say in Star Trek? Matachmech mashachnish. Mashachnish, we must expand, right? Which means, which means grow, become more, not, not just, not physically larger, but more important. Uh, and have more influence and things like that. That's what shach means. And it could be applied to all kinds of things. And you can say that the, the book, an expanded version of the book, a more elaborated version of the book, is a pak shach. And you could also s say it the other way around and say shach pak, the book is expanded. Shach moch is if you do it. Pak vishach moch means I expanded the book, I elaborated the book, I made the book more complex or more informative or more complete, something like that. Well, it doesn't mean degree, but it's a, it's a unit of measuring temperature, which in English we use the, the word degree. Yeah. So would I just say like 50 degrees? Yeah, yeah it works like uj, like any other unit of measurement. The edge slat hole is thin, like paper thin. Bendable. Bendable and, and, and very, very thin, okay? A tile, the teshra, is, you can't bend it. It's like these things in the floor, or a scrabble tile, that's what that is. That yeah, a teshra does not have to be a square or a rectangle, yeah. Although, mm -hmm. although very commonly they are. Nell is when two things match, maybe better than match is match up. They, they go together somehow or other. That doesn't mean that they're identical to each other, although they might be, but they, they fit together exactly right. They go together. No, you 
just sweat. In you general. are sweating your sweat, but you don't say that. In Klingon, you'd say, Chichid. I sweat. And swell, I, I think it's like when you have you hit your arm and it gets thick. That was but, that was the original question. Yeah. But can other things also swell? Is it the same word? Like a piece of wood when it gets wet, wet no, it yes. swells up. Yeah. Anything this. Yeah. Or maybe a balloon when you blow a balloon, it swells. Yeah, I think Did, we had a discussion last time about balloons and bubbles and stuff. Didn't yeah, we? We have a word, a word for blowing into the balloon. Yeah. Joe. You blow in the balloon, yeah. but not what happens to the balloon. Well, then, then this must be what happens to it. Well, everything it's that's... It's not that, only restricted to... It's not only restricted to... Yeah, it's not restricted to wounds or something like that. I'm holding the book, and I let go, or, or on purpose or by accident. That's chah. I drop it. Drop. But when it... If, um, if a cat on the counter... Right? And there's a thing there, and the cat does that. That's not dropping it, because the cat never held it in the first place. To drop it, you have to have a control over it, have to grasp it and lose the grasp, lose the control. That's cha. To drop something, let it go. If, if, you, if you take something and change its angle somehow or other, okay, that's tomoch. Uh, it, whatever the thing is, vitomoch. Why not? It would be May. Why? There's still wings. Chicken wings on your table are do. Only if there's a bunch of them. If there's only one chicken wing on your table, it's definitely not a do. Generally speaking, okay, a body part retains do as a suffix. Even if it's used for something that's not really, really a body part. So that pot with elbows for handles, that's dru. Because people refer to those as, as elbows. They, they, they still liken them to elbows, all right, and, and, and understand that. The ho, the teeth, are dru, because they still think of them as, as the same as teeth. Okay. okay, so generally speaking, a body part, whether it's really a body part, whether it's attached to a body or ever was, is group, all, uh, regardless of whether it's really a body part or not. It could be a part of a, of a thing, like, like the pot handles or the, the, or the teeth in a comb, something like that, or the gears. Um, but sometimes, there's, well, there's a notion in linguistics of... of, of lexicalization, it becomes a word and sometimes takes on a life of its own and it's not really thought of as connected to the body part anymore. So with, uh, with Neb, that's what happened. I mean, historically, it was probably a body part first and then uh, at the beak and then applied to a nozzle because it's kind of like a beak. But people don't think of it that way anymore. It's just two words that happen to sound alike. Who, get, who cares about the history when you're talking day to day? It's two words that sound alike, and the way you, you, you distinguish one from the other is in the plural. And one takes gru, one takes me, and that's all. And that, that, that happened. And there's probably some other words like that too. But if you're going to take a, 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 a body part and apply it to something that's not a body in a new and unique way you've never heard before, but you think people will understand, that's drew. That's still drew until it becomes so common and so dis detached from the original body part meaning that it might take May. If if you pak pak vishak vishak a little up, you say pak vishak, and you're not. Don't say that. <laughs> this is for the bloopers. This is, you, 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 you say pak. Now we're gonna pack the shot. Shmoch. Pack the shot, shmoch. I shouldn't shout it. This no. will be out of context. But you can say pack the shot. Oh damn it! It always happens. There's always one phrase. May I really add this to the bloopers? If you're making bloopers, you can add it to the bloopers. I will at the end of the video. 
Um, uh, so far, I'm answering the questions pretty good, right? Yeah, the, so the, far. That's uh, good. Yeah. So. That's how the word works. Now, I put that on the video. That's how the word works. <laughs> it has no object, you only sweat, and that's it. <laughs>